Today is my very first YouTube upload. Never put a video on YouTube before. But I'm going to rip open these two packs and see what's in there. Um, I had a bunch of students that kind of encouraged me to uh, upload these videos. I had talked about it a little bit, not very seriously. But uh, they encouraged me and said it might be a good idea. So I'm going to go for it. I don't know how sincere they were. But nevertheless, it, can, it should be kind of fun. I've been collecting baseball cards for about the last nine months or so. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I actually go on YouTube all the time and watch people open up packs and boxes. And there's a lot of people doing it. It gives me a lot of enjoyment. I can't always buy the things that I want to. So watching people open it, open them is probably the next best thing. Like a lot of people, I collected when I was younger in the late 90s, early 2000s. But, you know, I didn't really know what I had. didn't really buy uh, anything that was too high end. So... As I got older, probably about into high school, interests just kind of change. Not so much baseball cards, more into partying, chasing girls, getting into trouble. But like I said, the last uh, nine months or so, I've gotten into cards. I try to buy cards pretty much any time I go to a, a decent sized town. Today I'm going to open up an uh, update from this last year. And that's a fat pack. I got these actually at Casey's, the gas station. Um, they always have some cards. Uh, I've got the heritage from there as well. I've opened up quite a bit of update in the last couple weeks. And um, and the heritage, I opened up this uh, the heritage quite a bit and then kind of softened on it. And uh, I haven't opened the, the top heritage regular. I've been opening up the high heritage since it, since it came out. A few more, a uh, few better cards and things like that. Just like series two and update two for tops. So... Uh, we're going to start, I think, with the tops pack. Hopefully I find something good. Always seems to be a lot of rookies in these update packs, but I don't always know exactly who they are. I don't probably watch as much baseball now as I did when I was younger. I had to work the night shift in the summer, too. So I really didn't always get um, to see as much baseball as I wanted. So... I'm not going to know all of these guys here. Uh, I'm a big Yankees fan, so I know the Rays uh, players pretty well. Chris Paddock. This is a guy that's supposed to be... Oh, we got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Chris Paddock. Um, you know, I got to admit, I don't watch the the Royal... Or, the, excuse me, the Padres at all, being out west, and they haven't really been very good. But he's supposed to be a really good pitcher. So this is definitely one to keep on the side there. And then this has kind of been one of the big rookies, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., um, that everybody has talked about. This, um, Vlad, is a... I don't know what the short prints are for these. This ends in 10. So does this one. So this is nothing special in terms of that, but still a pretty cool card to get. I have gotten quite a few uh, Vlad cards this year. Vlad Guerrero, but, uh, you know, always nice to have more. John Ryan Murphy, I remember when he was with the Yankees. Uh, traded him to, I believe, the Twins. That's how they got Hicks, Aaron Hicks. The Twins did. Uh, Yosemite Yosma, Grandel. Best name in baseball right here. As you can see it on camera, Richard Lovelady. Love to have a name like that. Andrew Miller was a stud for the Yankees. A stud everywhere he's been. Calvin Herrera had a pr some pretty good years. Jeff McNeil, all-star game rookie card. Uh, McNeil obviously gets outshadowed by the fact that Pete Alonzo is another one of the great rookies. But I've heard his name a lot, and I've pulled a lot of his cards, so that's one to look forward to as well. This is a DJ LeMahieu All-Star game. LeMahieu was one of my favorite Yankees this year. Um, didn't really think he was going to play near as much as he did, but the Yankees had so many injuries, and God, he ended hitting, ended up uh, finishing maybe second or third in the batting title. I know Anderson won it, but he really had a good year for the Yankees. Never has a bad at bat. Here's a rook, uh, rookie combo card. Oh boy, this is a really awesome card. So, Glaber Torres is probably my favorite player. You know, when you're 22 years old and you're batting third for the New York Yankees, that's pretty special. It's got the gold cup, and it's numbered. Okay, obviously it's got this kind of uh, stars and stripes parallel, but this is a really cool card, and you can see it. It's numbered uh, 1 of 76. So, that is an awesome card. Just bought a retail pack at Casey's. And this was only 5 bucks, 32, 34 cards for the fat pack. So, you know, with the Vlad Guerrero and some of these rookie cards, that's a really super pack. 
Walker Bueller. This is the 84 Tops design. Uh, pretty sweet looking card. It's gonna be a good, uh, good pitcher for a lot of years to come. Uh, one of the inserts here, perennial all-stars, Mario Rivera. Always loved him growing up as a Yankees fan. Pedro Vila. And then here's another guy I talked about already. Pete Alonzo broke the rookie home run record with 53. My man judges. Uh, Alonzo is a stud, though, and I pulled a lot of Alonzo rookies. So this is the home run derby uh, card. Not sure what the values are, are on any of these things. Kitzler, he played for the Twins for a while. J.D. Hammer, J.D. Martinez, Charlie Morton, Gio Urshela, another Yankee that had an outstanding year. I never would have guessed. Um, he wasn't very good in the playoffs. And then there's another, uh, there's a Bellinger All-Star game, which is great. And then another Pete Alonzo. So that's a really good pack of, uh, of uh, updates series. There's a handful of cards over there that I'm going to... Try putting top loaders for now. I was telling my kids that I don't really have the business acumen to make any money off cards, but they bring a lot of joy to me, so I don't really have a plan. But the Heritage, obviously everybody always likes Heritage. Um, it's got the 1970 design this year, and you can see some of these are really badly uh, damaged. Last night I was at Casey's, and the lady that checked me out just banged the cards up on the side. And I uh, wasn't too happy with her. If looks could kill, I would have, uh, well, she'd be dead. But okay, I've got the pitching leaders. Like I said, these all have really soft corners. Christian Vasquez. Rookies for the Angels, David Fletcher and Taylor Ward. Brock Holt, good player for the Red Sox. Uh, this is one of the news flashbacks. Janice Joplin gone at 27. And obviously, died of drugs or something. I've heard plenty about uh, Janis Joplin, but uh, not too worried about that. And uh, Fultonavich, he has an up and down year. He had that one really bad start in the playoffs. Tuki Toussaint, I don't know if he's supposed to be anything good, but I've seen a million of his cards this year as well. Denard Spann, former twin. I'm not a Twins fan, but everybody around me is. Some Cardinals rookies. I can't... Uh, really say if I know anything too much about these guys. Carl Edwards Jr. has the same name as a race car driver. Freddy Peralta. This is an insert of the NLCS, Saved by the Bell. So Bellinger on the front, and I don't even remember the uh, NLCS. And then Altuve and Crawford, Sporting News All-Stars, and Tim Beckham. So overall, the heritage wasn't very good. In fact, half the cards had really really soft corners you can see even from the camera uh, not in very good shape but i will say that the tops the fat pack of tops was pretty legit just to run through these you got alonzo alonzo walker Bueller, the 84 and this was a sweet card this is a really good pull it's a numbered parallel labor torres and like i said he is probably my favorite favorite player i had a lot of luck even uh, out of some Panini boxes, a lot of Glaber stuff, which is really awesome. DJ LeMahieu, another one of my favorite Yankees. Jeff McNeil, still not sure what he's going to be all about. And then Guerrero and Paddock, and these are two of the big rookies that you hear a lot about. So pretty good pack, and uh, I'm excited. I'll probably get some of these and uh, some one touches. Or actually, I need to get some one touches, but some uh, cases at least. So and uh, I'll probably be going to Fargo this this uh weekend pick something up and if i do i'll make sure i drop another video on if anybody watched it hopefully i get some views besides students uh like i said i don't know how sincere they were but hopefully somebody can enjoy it and uh, maybe even turn somebody on to collecting so till next time everybody have a uh, good weekend and like i said look back like subscribe and comment and uh Hopefully I'll drop something this weekend. Thanks for watching.